Hey, welcome back to uh, Content Marketing World Chatter, uh, brought to you by the good folks at Riot Studio. Uh, I'm here with Mr. Professor Joe Polizzi. Who, uh, Joe, this is your—is this your third Content Marketing World? Yes, it's, a, it's actually I'm a first timer. You're a first timer. <laughs> hey, we're glad to have you. It's a good show. Huh? It's number like eight. It? Number, number eight. eight. Yes. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny that I was talking to um, uh, Nicole Bump, and she was here in two. I met her in 2014. Okay. Here, and she was commenting about how quickly it had grown from 2011 and that's nuts well that's you, you know yeah we we basically in 2011 we reserved an office room it was very small there were there was a couple desks and some chairs we're like maybe people will come and we can fit that was that would have been enough but uh you know we had 600 that year and then it grew and grew and grew and now i don't know what they have four thousand plus it's it's been a magical ride but just the, the the best part of the people i have not been around another community of people that are willing to share their uh, experiences and their advice and there's the lack of competition between marketing yeah. folks i just i mean you've been to sales conferences yeah. i mean you got to watch yourself there yes uh, but here they're just all so nice it's fantastic yes. that's why i no longer wear rolex <laughs> i don't want to talk about it but <laughs> I was in Sarasota in 83. And, oh, uh, well, Sarasota is a whole other yeah, thing. Yeah, that's going to get you. Yeah. That's going to get you. Strangers in a Strange Land. Yes. Talk to me about that. How's that cha oh my shaped your God. life? Oh, my God. Have you read that book? I haven't. I just learned well, about kissing my <laughs> Yeah. So that's all I know. Uh, Robert Heinlein, I read that in high school. It's a game changer. I recommend it for, for anyone. Um, that's where I learned the art of focus. There are many parts of that book that talk about if you really believe in something and you're focused on something you can change the world yeah i mean it's a science fiction book but that's that's where i, I sort of learned the mentality of yeah you can do 10 things at once and be okay at them but if you want to be truly great at something and change the world you have to focus on that one thing and that stayed with me. i've read that book 10 times and i there's certain parts of it that i'm like wow hit, hit me every time and uh so i absolutely love that book you know, on, on, I, I love what you said in the keynote yesterday about your phone, putting that on the table. And there, there was some research from MIT a few years ago that says, it, just putting your phone on the table, if I come in here and put my phone on the table, immediately I have shut down any opportunity for us to have an intimate conversation. Because you might be afraid that, well, if you share something very intimate with me, um, I'm going to get a call. Yep. So you're not even going to go there. It, it, it stops us from even evolving our friendship. Well, it's uh, if you put the phone on a table, and now it's a conversation of three. Uh, it's not just you and I. There's yeah. another thing here because that's what we've made that into. And I, I really started to notice that. And I used to, I used, I mean, most people do. You get there, you put all your stuff on, you can put your iPad, you put your phone on the t you don't realize that that is a distraction. Even if nothing happens, that's a distraction. And then I saw some article that said, oh, well, you turn it down, face down. I mean, come on. No. You know, I would like to see more people not have it on them during the day. I yeah. don't think we realize that if you look at, okay, well, all the horrible addictions that are going on in the world right now, and there's a lot of bad things. One of the worst things really is we're addicted to our smartphones and we're addicted to a relationship with this thing and I would like to see more people shut it off and be present. And I can say that because it was hard. At, we, in January, I did a 30-day electronics-free sabbatical, the, if you uh, will. Betty Ford And, and I, yeah, I was a little shaky the first couple of days. I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. And then once you get past that point, you're like, wow, I really noticed. Uh, you know, my, my wife was kidding me. She's like, you noticed that the, the laundry needed to move to the dryer and yeah. I said yeah of course that's no big deal I said you've never noticed that before I'm like oh I, I didn't you know you, you did the dishes I'm like yeah the dishes need to be done you didn't ever see that there were dirty dishes I didn't know this yes and but apparently like, there were there were things around the house that needed to be done right and you yeah. realize wait a minute <laughs> and it, it opens your eyes to yeah I'm like oh my god I have two I, kids I'm, I, had, <laughs> I had no idea that, that that was that was a thing maybe I should shut my phone <laughs> off and See about offspring. Yeah, you might have another child going around the house. And you just I have no, look, no I've idea. been contacted by a few attorneys, <laughs> and uh, I just never. I wanted to kind of blank that out, yeah. so I'll do that. Exactly. Uh, hey, you, um, mm. you, you talk a lot about, or 
Napoleon Hill, like two years ago, I think you, you mentioned him in your I keynote did. as well. And uh, I read that, I read that, I need to go back and read that book again. Actually, Think and Grow Rich, book. yeah. Uh, I probably read about uh, 20 years ago. And it really is powerful, the stories in there about writing down goals. And, and I, I really appreciate the fact that you made it really easy for people yesterday. You know, you had, you put a little journal on everybody's seat. And I was, I was sitting back there and I saw everybody was picking them up. Did they? Oh, that's writing. good to hear. And it's like, man, you, it's just a nice reminder that you, you really have to take these steps. And well, start. What, I, what I was concerned about, it's good to hear, what I was concerned about is that the, the speech was too simplistic. I mean, to just record something down, then repeat it, and then remove all the obstacles in your way so that you can do yeah. great things. And I was looking, I was reviewing, and I'm like, this is too simple. No, I mean, we need more complexity, and that's what I heard was, look, this is something you can actually do, and going yeah. back to Napoleon Hill, that's why that book is still a bestseller every year, because it can be done, and you just have to, to do the work. So, okay, why are, why are successful people successful? Well, they, they write down the things they want to right. accomplish. Every day they get up and they review it. Before they go to bed, they review, this is what I want to be, in, who I want to be in my life. And then, uh, well, well, how do I get there? Well, the distractions like spending time on social media or watching yeah. television or the things that aren't really important, I need to be spending my time on changing the world. Well, I have the time, I just need to, you know, it's like I talked about yesterday. Everybody says, I don't have enough time. Well, you do. Right. How are you spending your day? The, the New York Times person was just talking in the, the keynote here about seven and a half hours of time that we spend with media a day. I mean, what could you be doing in seven? I mean, you could be knitting scarves. You could be doing lots of things in seven and a half hours. And so take, take two, hour, two hours. What could you do? The, when I did the little stat about uh, we watch three hours of television a day, yeah. and I like to play math with it, Okay, that's 1,100 hours a year, and if you live to be 80 years old, that's 10 hours of solid time of you watching television. That's what the average person does. They lose 10 hours of time, and we got things to do, yeah. right? So, there you go. That's, it's, that's something I need to work on right there, for sure. I have to yeah. stop watching the Cleveland Browns lose every Sunday. You Just think what, what we can do. Yes, uh, you should switch <laughs> over to Sanford and Sun reruns. <laughs> But I think that was But that's valuable time spent. That is. You're yeah. learning. You're growing. Yeah. You're, you're getting into personal any, skills. Any sitcom from the 70s, you're that's probably right. okay with. You know, we yeah. look at how he interacts, how he respects Ann Esther, <laughs> and you can take those rules. Oh, Elizabeth. I'm <laughs> <laughs> coming to join you. All right. Uh, listen, any, anything you want to share with us in, uh, in closing? Uh, I, think it, we've, I think we've. Is that it? We've, is it true yeah. now you only travel by helicopter? Uh, well, that's, that's, a, that's only a, one I, ha I have to get somewhere quickly, which quickly. never happens anymore. Is it I true never you have to be Batmobile? anywhere. Uh, I've actually sat in one, but I haven't you, purchased okay. it yet. You know, it's in it's in negotiation. It's, is it okay? We're, it's we're, th we're still thinking about it. Yeah, okay. it's up to my wife whether she wants to buy it or not. You know what I would do? I'd write it down. I'd write it down. I'm, gonna, go I'm going. I am going to own the Batmobile. Yes, and then look at it. It could happen. I wanted to paint it orange, but. Uh, for some reason, they had a problem with that. You can get it done. Yeah, I'm sure it can happen. Anything's them. possible. Yeah. <laughs> Believe in your dreams. <laughs> That's right. All right, uh, we're gonna try to get you with, and, uh, uh, to come back later today, uh, do a seance with Napoleon Hill, and just kind of have a, if we can get a three camera shoot on Oh that. my God, I'm totally into that. All right, we're gonna, gonna make it happen. We're gonna set it up. All right. All right, thank you, Joe, for making time for Thanks us. It's really Tim. hard to get at this show. <laughs> I didn't know if you were coming this year. You know, yeah, you never make it yeah, to Cleveland knew? anymore, so. Who knew? Yeah, that's great, all right. And we'll go back again, uh, traffic, your local traffic's coming up shortly. And uh, thanks for watching this. Okay.